Well, hello, good morning. Welcome to my Wednesday. Got a late start this morning because I got sucked in a new world. Um, no, I, uh, I, I've been getting up early to get to work early, but I got to work on my normal time. So I didn't feel bad. I pulled in the same time my dad did. So I was like, plan, plan. Good Charlotte. Anyway, uh, at Depot, do my shopping. Costco was a joke, like super light load, like four or five items. Depot's a little thicker. That kind of can't handle. Woo! All right. Good. Shopping round two. My brother number two. Easy peasy. Get home, get back to the warehouse, get back home. Get to the gym. Kicked my ass at the gym yesterday. Woo! I'm feeling it today, man. My shoulders, my arms, my back. Today is a full body day, so it'll be a little bit of push, a little bit of pull, some legs. Felt like a green smoothie for the gym. Plus I had to run some errands, so smoothie it is. So I got my green smoothie, but after I'd already ordered it, the guy that came in behind me ordered one called the Blue Gorilla. And I read it and I was like, oh, it's blueberries, bananas, peanut butter, frozen yogurt, uh, a multivitamin and 44 grams of whey protein. I was like, oh, didn't even know that was a thing. And it does say new on it, it says new. So I'm like, oh, next time, before going to the gym, basically have a protein shake before you go and blueberries, peanut butter, banana, three of my favorite things. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Picking up some work boots for one of my drivers. Dude will just wear his until they, until they fall off, fall off. So, I'm gonna surprise him tomorrow with a new pair of boots. All right, just about four o'clock, we're home, and I have a package waiting for me. Uh, I actually, I ordered this almost two weeks ago. In fact, I emailed them last night saying, hey, I ordered this thing almost two weeks ago, haven't got a tracking number, can I get a status update? They emailed me this morning saying, we show it was delivered on Monday. I'm like, they didn't have any tracking number. Anyway, um, I'm really excited about this because with my whole, eating better, cleaner, working out, going to the gym. Protein is obviously a, a main focus, make sure I'm getting my protein, looking for snacks that are high in protein. And uh, you guys know that beef jerky is like my favorite. A close second would be beef sticks. And so a lot of times when I'm out and about, uh, whether I'm at work shopping or just out in public, you know, grabbing jerky or beef sticks are usually my go-to, but then I start reading the ingredients and the macros and they're not really that good. Um, so enter the online world and uh, you know, outside the retail space. Um, this is a brand that I have heard lots about. I've heard them on podcasts. I've seen ads on X and on Instagram. And just like the Momofuku noodles, this is something that I, that I saw on Instagram, saw a, a, a sale and was like, Screw it, let's give this a try. The best time to try something is when it's you know on sale and it's the cheapest you can buy that. So what we're talking about here is Paleo Valley beef sticks. Uh, these are 100% grass-fed beef. Uh, they're naturally fermented. These are like just all the good stuff that you can possibly get in a beef stick. These pretty much cover the base. Um, it was a 30, 35% off sale or something like that. And of course, if you order so much, you get free shipping. So I made sure I ordered that much. Also because I figured I want to try every flavor, pick which ones I like, and then you put them on a subscription so you get that you continue getting a discount. So we've got a lot of beef sticks here. Uh, so we've got the original, I ended up getting two of those just because like I said, I need to meet that minimum. So I figured I'd get the two, get two originals. Uh, we've got summer sausage. We have garlic summer sausage. We have teriyaki. And of course, the one that speaks to my heart, jalapeno. So um, I, wanna, I wanna try each of these and make a separate video, make a, make a, a YouTube short out of it, since especially now since it's three minutes, YouTube shorts are three minutes, I probably will start making more of those because 60 seconds was just wasn't enough for me. I like to talk. So um, I'm gonna bust open one of these originals. So, this is, what the, this is what the label says here. Naturally fermented beef stick made with 100% grass-fed beef. No nitrates 
or nitrates added except for those naturally occurring in celery juice and sea salt. No encapsulated citric acid, no gluten, soy or corn, no MSG, no artificial preservatives, beef used, never given antibiotics or steroids. These are six grams of protein for one ounce. It's one ounce. I just had that smoothie and dinner is probably about two hours away. So I'm not going to sit here and eat one, two, three, four, five of these right now. Cause that pretty, pretty much be my meal, but we're going to open one cause I do want to try one. So we're gonna try the original right now. All right. Yeah, that's a pretty good beef stick. Uh, and, but knowing that how clean it is, how good it is, how the quality, makes it that much better. That's that really for me. That's why that's why I just drink a green smoothie. A lot of people ask me like, why do you get green smoothies? Those aren't, it's not for flavor. I mean, obviously I, I do enjoy the flavor. I enjoy the hardiness of a green smoothie and the seeds and all the stuff that gets put into them. But it's more of a mental thing knowing that, that it's better for me than just fruit. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm gonna eat a beef stick. Might as well be a, the, you know, a good quality beef stick. I don't know if there's any audio, we'll find out, but windows are down, we're listening to Catastro. I gotta check on Bryce's car. There was some oil in the driveway, you guys will change, so I was like, so just went back to his car, fine. Whatever that is, it's just residual from getting the oil changed, so all good. 6.22 p.m., just Sierra and Tiffany tonight, Bryce is at a football game. We're kind of doing our own thing for dinner. Tiffany made some sausages. Tomato, basil, and mozzarella chicken sausage, and some zucchini, which I'll probably fry these up and eat those. And I mean leftover chicken. I made some little cheese tacos, little mini quesadillas. All right, 8.30 p.m. I just put my orders in for the night, winding down. Uh, Tiff and I went for a little walk around the block, kind of caught up on our day, how things are going. And, uh, you know, she asked about how my mom was doing and uh, uh, another family member. And then she asked about Cade, and I was like, you know, I, I, I talked about Monday, I asked him about how his first day was, but I don't, I'll check in with him. And so we just get back, we just get back home, and Cade responds, and he's like, yeah, I just finished up dinner. If you haven't uh, gone for a walk tonight, uh, and you and Tiff aren't, you know, if, if you're not hanging out with Tiff on the couch, um, you know, put some shoes on and go for a walk and talk. And I go, we just got back, that's so funny. Um, but anyway, I, I just thought of that, I was like, that's another opportunity to go for a walk, you know? throw some shoes on and a hoodie and go for our walk in the evening and catch up with Cade, you know, that sort of thing. So anyway, um, good catching up with Sierra. She uh, got her next round of contacts in. She's been going back and forth between her glasses and her contacts. And, um, and Bryce got his oil changed today, like I said earlier. And uh, there was some oil in the driveway. And so we were just kind of like uh, making sure his car was okay. Everything seemed to be fine, so it was probably just some residual oil from when they got the change, and he was in the driveway, and it ran off kind of thing. But, um, yeah, that was his first, his first uh, doing all that by himself, you know, kind of talked him through. He got a new cabin air filter, which I'll show him how to replace that tomorrow, uh, since he's still at school. He'll be there well after I'm asleep for the night, so. Um, kids are all growing up, man. They're doing things on their own. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.